Hello everyone, welcome back to Hometown Roulette. This is episode 11. Will it be you this week? Will your hometown be featured in my channel? Uh, last week we were in Saint Etienne in France, uh, which was wonderful. It was a French first. What will it be this week? Will we be returning to the UK? Will it be the USA? Those are the two most likely options um, because that's where the bulk of my viewers are. But it could so easily be Sweden. Uh, it could so easily be Finland, Australia. It could be anywhere. So that is the beauty of this uh, whole system. Uh, but anyway, here is the link uh, for last week's vid. So this little machine is going to pick out all of your comments and pick a winner, more importantly. So here it is, counting them all up. There weren't quite as many as the week before, the month before, rather. And uh, there were only 1143. I say only, that's a still a bloody good turnout in any man's book. I keep saying that, don't I? In any man's book. There are lots of women watching too. Your books are equally important. Right, nothing left to do now but to bring my mouse over here and pick a winner. Who's it going to be then? Here we go. And look at that. We are indeed in the USA. Spokane, W-A. What is that? Is that Wis No, it can't be Wisconsin. Is it Washington? We will soon find out. And the winner is Keela Hogan. Is that a girl's name? I don't know, you know. <laughs> I guess we won't find that out until the comments come rolling in. That could be awkward. Keela Hogan, let's make your map of Spokane. Right, let's explore your hometown, Keela. No challenge today. No need to rush things. We're just going to have a nice, peaceful bit of exploration in the beautiful Spokane. I hope it's beautiful. I'll be very disappointed if it's not. Wow, that looks pretty beautiful. Straight off the cuff. They they look like old buildings, don't they? They don't look... Um, they're what I would expect to find in a more western... Western? Western eastern seaboard place. But I don't know. Um, they look old anyway. So maybe there's a bit of history here in uh, Spokane. Keela, whether you are male or female, please let me know. Um, you know, a bit about the history of Spokane, that would be nice. And also, if I stumble across any areas that you have frequented, maybe you've got a funny story from a particular street I'm on, it's unlikely. You know, maybe you had a sleepover in this house, I don't know. I'm presuming you're a girl from your name, so I'm sorry if you're a strapping hunk with a massive pair of testicles. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing this video pretending it's got to be one or the other. I think I'm going to say that you're a girl. So, sorry, mate. Adams and Broadway is where we are. I'm not going to go into the map yet. Too early. Have we got the tower here that we saw in that very <laughs> polished uh, video that I uh, added into the intro? I couldn't find a cheesy 80s travel video of Spokane, so it had to be full-blown 4K drone footage with really serious music. Uh, but yeah, I think that was in it, look. I think we just flew over these turrets. There it is. That's beautiful. What is that? What is the history of that? I'd be interested to know. God, check this guy out. Looking pretty serious. Reaching for something in his pocket. Let's get out of here. What What's the crime rate like in uh, in Spokane, anyway? Is it is it a nice, pleasant town, or is it Spokane County Public Works building? Or would you not want to explore it at night, Keela? Would you feel unsafe? Especially if you are a girl, that might be, you know, that might heighten the fear of walking around in the dark in Spokane. Who knows? Is anyone else from Spokane watching this, by the way? Feel free to drop me a comment. But so far, I like it. I think it's got character. It's got a bit of history. You know, wasn't sure what to expect. Um, was half expecting a one-horse town, but when I saw the um, 
that drone footage, that magnificent drone footage, I was like, wow, this looks really nice, actually. Um, and yeah, it's living up to that, I have to say. Right, I'm, I'm hoping I'm heading towards the river here. That would make sense in my little head. Hey, yeah, look at this. I think we're actually coming up to that big bridge that we saw in the footage. What are the chances? Yeah, this is this is nice. I think this is the bridge I would jump off if I wanted if I'd had enough of Spokane and wanted to end it all. Don't do that, Keela. Is Ki is Keela? Am I saying it wrong? Is it Killer? You know, you one of these bad men, and that's your nickname, Killer. My name's Killer Hogan. Um, and you're from the outskirts of London, apparently. Washington Water Power. Right, guys, we we know where we are. So, you know, there's there's taking our time and there's taking our time. We know where, well, I think I know where we are. I think we've got up there, there's an island and then a bridge. So Canada Island, I think, is the island bridge, which would put us on this one. Spokane Falls, yeah. So they're down there. It's a shame we can't actually see right down. I think it goes down further than that, judging by that side. That looks... That looks really far down, doesn't it? Um, so that is, that's like a dam. They've dammed it up and then it all cascades down. Um, right, so yeah, we're there right now, but where did we start? Where the hell did we start? Did I even get... Oh yeah, it was Ponsonby. No, what was it? I can't remember. We're going to have to go back. I don't think I got a street name, did I? Adams. Where have I got Ponsonby from? That's mad. What else is it? Broadway and Adams. Adams, okay, right, so up here, there's Broadway, West Broadway, Adams, 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 there, so we are surely around here, let's go back, did I move there, I did move a little bit, didn't I, naughty, right, so Adams, we are on this lovely row of houses, yeah, I'd go there. We've got to be 10 meters accurate, remember, guys? Let's give that a go. 1.4, that'll do nicely. Excellent start, eh, Keela? Wicked, let's carry on. Church access. St. what? What does that say? St. Aloy Aloysius. Sick, what a sick name. I'm just pondering whether I call my future son Aloysius. Or is it a girl's name? I <laughs> said, oh God. It's been a very gender fluid game of GeoGuessr, this has. Spent more time trying to figure out who's who, who's dick and who's funny. Uh, right, I presume that is the church, St. Aloysius. Wow. Love that name. Astor and Mission. Okay. Astor and Mission. Right, well, that way is north. As you can see. So the question is, are we north of the river? And that's heading out of town. Uh, or is that towards downtown? Well, I can't see any buildings from here. Let's head towards Aloysius. I'm gravitating towards it. I can't help it. Okay, we're on this fairly main road here. Maybe let's get the name of this one. Mission and Astor. So this is still Astor. And then Sharp. Astor and Sharp. Memory serving me well so far. Keeler, please do not hold back to tell me, to inform me whether you have, you know, maybe you've been in this church. Maybe you went to Sunday school there. How have we reached a dead end here? That is most disappointing. Okay. Are we heading out? Out of town. I think we are there. We've got a hill. Over there. No Gonzaga parking. What the hell is that? Uh, right, okay. So let's presume that we're in the south of the city for a moment. Uh, now, I haven't made the parameters too big, as you probably saw. I just made it to around here. Oh, Gonzaga University. Okay. East Sharp Ave and North Astor. Wow, look. Look at that. Saw it straight away. There's Gonzaga University. Is that anywhere near here? This is the campus, isn't it? So now we know what the elusive Gonzaga means. 
Brilliant. Two birds with one stone there. So there's Astor, there's Sharp. East Mission. So we were indeed around here. I can't quite remember what we did at the start. Oh yeah, there's the sign for Aloysius. Okay, so we're just to the right of this junction. Um, we can count the houses. There's one on the corner there. Let's just check it. Won't do any harm to check it, will it? Look at these two here. Is that you, Killer? I think that's you, isn't it? Killer. Killer Hogan. Hands in your pockets without a care in the bloody world. One, two, three. Is that right? Are we looking at the right bit here? Are we on mission? I've got to work this out. Well, I'm just double checking. Yeah, it is mission, isn't it? So it's one, two, three. And we were about there, apparently, according to the map. Don't really like that little house on the end. But, you know, it says it's quite long on the map. Let's go for it. 4.9 meters. That is giving us the points. Excelente. We're on to the third round. And we're on some sort of footpath here. Wow. The Washington Power Water Power Company. Upper Falls Power Plant. Sick. We're right on. Are we on the Spokane Falls here? Um, I think. Do you know, I don't know. Is that the lip of the water? Yeah. Okay, I get it now. There's the lip of the water. And there you can see from here just how big a drop it is. Because you can't see any water down there. And that there, even though it's hidden behind this uh, bridge, you can see the bridge that we were on a few moments ago. So that's pretty cool. So we must be, we're on the island. We're on Canada Island. Cool. And there's a footbridge. I didn't notice this. There's a footbridge. Oi, what are you doing? Stop it. You're invading my privacy, sir. Uh, and he's still going. How rude. I guess you can't fight it. You can't escape it these days, can you? But yeah, there's a footbridge going over the river. Both this side, and I believe I saw one. If we spin around, spin around, Chinaman, uh, here, and look at this. God, you wouldn't want to canoe down that, would you? Without a few lessons first. That looks pretty lethal. Cool. Okay, then. So, let's get in there. We know exactly where we are. We're on Canada Island. And that looks, yeah, that these are our paths here. Look, that correlates pretty well. Spokanians, are you enjoying this? This novelty? Some random British twat exploring your lovely city. Um, right, so we are. Well, it's going to be. It's not going to be straightforward, this. Because we haven't got this circular bit. But it does start bending round there. I think we're probably about there. But um, this isn't nailed on, is it? I guess we just go on this curve. You know, it starts to curve basically there, doesn't it? And from and this would... If there's no circle bit on the map, then, you know, you can assume that that's just there. So, make guess. Oh, excellent. 0 0.5 metres. A mere 50 centimetres. How would you like that, Keeler? You impressed? Good. You better be. Right, next one. Oh, you're kidding me, aren't you? Oh, we've got the same one <laughs> twice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's just get it out of the way. It's going to be a four-round game, basically. Let's see if we can get any closer than 50 centimetres. Okay, where did I go last time? I, I don't think I'm going to get any closer than that, am I? Really, I mean, just do the same again, really, isn't it? Let's try that. 3.5 metres. Good grief. So, in my second attempt at that round... Ten seconds later, I did seven times as bad. Cool. Last one. Okay, good. We're in a, a new round here, one that we didn't have before. And um, what have we got around here? Is this, this is downtown, isn't it? I would have thought. I'm heading east downtown, making my way downtown. Sprague Avenue and Lincoln Street. 
inland mortgage home loans let's explore um downtown a bit then seeing as we uh missed around there and the first three were fairly quick this is the bing crosby theater was he from spokane i wonder anthony jealous jessel nick kathy ladman i don't know what that is don't know who they are but this is a cool downtown what is there to do here like is there a good music scene you know live music are there any good bars good clubs is it a bit rough around the edges seeing as it's so far inland um from you know your seattles of the world spokanians speak up spoke up if you like especially you keela delicate flower keela like <laughs> i can't wait for the comment i can't wait for keela's comment can you lot i'm gonna get a right earful so yeah i'm just kind of skirting around here see if we get to the river i think that is the river valley isn't it there so we know basically where we are as we see some more historic buildings i think it's safe to say look at this one here it's cool that's impressive in any in any american's book that is a nice i keep saying phrases like that don't in any man's book in any man's book that is a nice church to have in any town and i stand by that i want to know what year it was built but maybe one of you can inform me and this building here looks really nice too. I think Spokane has a rich history. I don't know what um you know what it made its fortune on, whether it was gold mining or coal or what, but um I think it has a rich history. Maybe it was a you know a railway maybe it was on the railway line to Seattle. Who knows. That's your job to inform me as I say. So, I think we've popped out around here somewhere, haven't we? Possibly around here. Spokane Public Library. Yeah, well, there's Lincoln. And there's Sprague. So, actually, we've come round here. And we're actually somewhere over here now. Uh, there's the Cathedral of Our Lady of Lords. That's a French thing, isn't it? So, we were here. And we can see some of the bars and stuff here. The Riddler Piano Bar. Bistango Martini Lounge. These are the kind of things I'm talking about. That is what would make my trip to Spokane worth it if I was traveling through. Uh, so, yeah, let's go back. It's all about the bars. That's where you meet people. That's where you get the vibe, isn't it? We were in between. We were actually in between Lincoln and Monroe, apparently. And I think we're about here. I'm not going to click there straight away, but yeah, we are. In fact, I'd say we're in the middle of this edge here. And this edge here. Yes, I think that's correct. Slightly, yeah, slightly to the left, if anything, which I think it is. There we go. 8.4 meters, what? Never. Never in a million years. View summary. Well done, you've got a perfect score. Woohee! Perfect score in Spokane. I enjoyed that. That was a night. I enjoyed Fort Smith, was it, in Arkansas? That was a good one. And so was this, Spokane. It's enhancing my opinion of American, you know, small, deadbeat, so called deadbeat American towns and cities. Um, I would go there, I would visit. If I was doing a cycle trip across America, I would visit Spokane. Um, it looked cool, but feel free to tell me otherwise. Feel free to tell me some harrowing stories. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that, uh, Keela. That was all for you. And uh, fellow Spokanians, as I say, speak up. Guys, please leave a comment with your hometown if you haven't been picked already. Um, and uh, you might feature in next month's video. Simple as that. So leave your comment, leave your name. To be honest, leave your gender as well, <laughs> because clearly a name isn't enough for, for me. Uh, and furthermore, I will see you on Friday 
for a bit of a new concept of a play-along video. See you there. Ta-ra.